Channel 33 News is locally owned and operated in Huntington Beach, California. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to create a nonpartisan, it just to represent the things that are in the news. He was impeached, but it never really took. He, that's why I made it uh, light uh, with spray paint because it happened, but it really didn't happen. It didn't follow through. That was Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, oh, wow. You can see the cord coming off his neck and I painted him red like the devil. This was one of the most incredible stories of 2017. If you remember the team that was trapped at the end of the cave <laughs> and Elon Musk wanted to drill a hole through the <laughs> and they, they saved all of them. Damon Hill began adding these news events to his mural after it was sitting there for more than a decade of being painted onto his residence. So I was going to paint over it and uh, I came out here one day and there were pokey people. The, they were on their phones and they were playing Pokemon Go. And uh, I said, what are you guys doing? They said, this is a pokey spot. So I went, well, I'm not going to paint over it now. So I put a big Pokeball in the middle. But within a couple months, nobody knew what Pokemon Go was. It was huge when I painted it. And I said, that's the theme of the mural is things we think are very important at the time, but within a month, two months, nobody remembers the story. These stories can be represented in odd, creative ways, such as the police dog hiding behind the logo of the show Cops. As part of the knee-jerk reaction to the Black Lives Matter movement, they canceled the show Cops and also, for a while, the show Paw Patrol, the kids' television show. Some of these, some of these visuals, some of these paintings, people would say there's a political leaning towards it. Trump has like a, a hammer and sickle tie. What do, you, what do you say in response to people that would tell that to you? That I only take things out of the news and I try not to make it biased one way or the other. In fact, I want the viewer to make their own interpretation about the events that I've recorded. Damon said you could consider his mural a form of free speech. Some of his neighbors say the mural is very biased towards the left, while others, like Leanne Gatha Wheels, said she loves it and thinks it's an accurate representation of what the media is portraying. Unfortunately, none of the neighbors that I found wanted to participate in an interview. This is Phil Sterling with Channel 33, signing out. Channel 33 News is 100% viewer funded. If you like the content that we create, then consider signing up as a monthly member. Viewer support keeps us independent from corporate sponsors and political influence. Thank you for watching.